Hey, it's Dr. Daniel Moses here. I'm just so super fired up and so excited to be doing this video alongside Flores Eben, who is our World Circle Gold student. She started her journey just about a year ago and she's had the opportunity on working on so many other projects alongside myself and some of our investors, even some of our students. On this particular project is a property that we recently bought sometime about eight nine months ago we converted it from a two bed and a small bedroom into a five bedroom property two en suite and one shared bathroom and florence had the opportunity to basically project manage deal with the contractors see the opportunity and also the compliance side and of construction and working you know on a real life case scenario not just you know being taught in the classroom and what's on you know and so forth so florence how have you found the project? What was your major experience during the course of this project? I think every part of it, from the beginning to the end, to the completion, um, you know, from looking at, you know, coordinating contractors to looking at documentation that's required to be in place before you even start work, um, from looking at specifications to going into the regulatory side of things, which is looking at the licensing requirements and then actually proceeding to complete HMO licensing and liaising with the relevant people within the council to ensure that we get, you know, move the process along to a particular point. So, you know, liaising with, you know, various people, so valuation as well, um, you know, valuation, valuers rather, I should say. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And just um, arranging, coordinating all of that and just being able to put together also, most importantly, the valuation pack, which is quite key, yeah. one of your key documents that you've taught us to kind of put together when it comes to preparing a property for valuation. Great. So for, for those watching right now, you started your journey just about a year ago and there's been a lot of you know practical knowledge, there's been a lot of theoretical knowledge. So how have you been able to combine the practical side and you know and also the, the theoretical side? bringing them together has it made your journey more easier yeah. has it made your journey more simpler and, you know yeah. i mean i will say for, for a start before anybody i mean there's a lot of people who like to kind of just think it's just easy to go and buy a property and just get started education is key yeah it's key um for for people like me I needed a mentor so I could have done the theory I could have read for a whole year but without actually having somebody doing the hand holding somebody to kind of bounce questions you know kind of use a sounding board yeah. answer questions and you know clarify things that concepts I wouldn't understand yeah I don't think I would have been able to kind of get to where I am in terms of my experience now um, I guess as a project manager so it's yeah. very key education I would say is important it was useful for me to kind of start um, to relay things and make sense of things that I've seen in the practical, in the field, basically. Okay, so it's been amazing for you to kind of break down what you listen to in classroom. Of course, of course. On Zoom. Of course. <laughs> it, there's one thing reading about it, but when you actually see it in practice, it yeah. gives a different dimension to what you're learning. Absolutely. So, you know, whatever you, re you can read something and forget about it, but once you actually put it into practice, you, you, you're not gonna you remember it forever so, great great yeah. so th this this is one of the projects that you basically saw you know us ripping the whole thing apart and then bringing it back together to this amazing just look how amazing this property really look like right now so beautiful so you saw it being ripped out you saw it being be reassembled back as a very finished you know high quality finished product yeah. how would you say you know you, you know you you became so kind of excited with that it's the transition, the creativity as well, you know, understanding, you know, what, you know, that everyone does things differently, but it's just understanding that there's a creative element to it and just being able to see it go from nothing to something. I think that's just, that's the, the highlight of any kind of um, refurb projects. You, yeah. you kind of, just to be able to go and make that transition yeah. um, and see it to the end, is there's something really fulfilling about that that you can't really get in many projects fantastic so. so just my last question to you is um, for anyone looking to get in started on the buy refurb refinance model what would be one advice that you want to give to them that's one and the second part is how much has property wealth education play a massive role in your knowledge journey I mean, I, for a start, mindset. So I've come, a, it's known I've come from a corporate background where everything's regimented, everything, you've got systems and things in place and you know, everything's kind of there already for you. When you're going into property, 
there's a mindset shift, right? Because not only is it, uh, it can be as simple or as complex as you yeah. make it, and but the most important thing to turn it into a business, there's a mindset change. Yeah. And that's where, again, mentorship comes in. That's where training comes in, education comes in, and it, it, that's what's important. All right, the last part of the question was, how has Property Wealth Education you know, helped you through that this journey? So having a network to kind of support yeah. me in through the you know my learning curves you know having um being able to network with people who are in a similar position um who you know can help with my understanding as well um just in the encouragement as well property is a lonely journey and Very when lonely. you when you have a network of people who not only you know support you they see your growth they're kind of rooting you on they're kind of willing to kind of step in and stand in a gap for you where you need that support because yeah. it's it's not easy and I think anybody that goes into property knows that so having a net network like a property family is yeah. for me it's the most important thing so I've done a video this morning and I and I spoke about price and cost so on that video I said there is price to everything yeah. everything has a price so yeah. from the clothes we wear from the car we drive from the house we live in yeah. everything has a cost and so everything has a price so success only goes to those who are prepared and willing to pay the price. Yep, so sure. you clearly stated it here. So it's all about you, you know, having the support system, having a network. And also it's all about you willing to pay the price. Yeah. Because a lot of people want the money, but a lot of people are not willing to pay the price. Yeah. So Florence, it's been amazing having you on this video. And I know that there's gonna be so many other videos coming through very soon with myself and yourself. So guys, we have our next networking event. And the networking event is on the 30th of May. So if you haven't registered now, where you're going to be meeting Florence, who's going to be one of our MCs and co-hosts, and myself and our guest speakers and our you know many members and individuals of our network and community, make sure you go on Eventbrite right now to grab yourself a ticket. And we're looking forward to seeing you soon at the Wealth and Business Networking event in Victoria, London. See you on the other side.